What is up, everybody? I'm back. Had a snack, did some stretches, drank some water. Now it's time to play some more. A big titty anime. This might, these might be the biggest titties we've seen all day. Uh, so prepare yourself if you're not familiar. Uh, let's go into respect mode. Respect, respect them titties. how you introduce a video game <laughs> this game rules it is a video gamey ass video game I started this I guess I didn't save that's okay thighs on the Amazon yeah the Amazon is by far the best character design there's nothing to not like about the Amazon but somehow despite being as tall as a mountain and as wide as a semi I mean that the scales off a little there but uh, the, the slobbery Dobbin honkers are still bigger on the on the Jesus Christ like how am I supposed to not All right. go right for the sorceress she's got the V she's got the she's got the titty fold they because they god damn she got a little shiver sometimes Ugh, just outrageous milkers the sorcerer has, legit has to worry about her boobs smothering her to death if she sleeps on her back, right? Yeah, well, I think she would... I think the concern is more... Well, no, I guess it's trans asphyxiation in the end, but... If she moved improperly, one ballistic titty could, like, just whack her. The contra coup from, like, her, her like, head hitting the back would instantly knock her into a coma. And then the breast would just slide down into her mouth like an octopus filling a small cavity. And uh, yeah, she would unfortunately asphyxiate on her own breasts. It's a it's a horrible condition, a uh, very scary way to pass. That's why uh, I mean you'll find that only magic wielders uh, have giant titties. In fact, the the reason is they become magic wielders because they have giant titties, and not because of any any simple and and silly reason as such that their breasts might be magic reservoirs. No, no, no. The truth is. One has, it's it's kind of like, uh, it's kind of like how in X-Men, you know, how uh, Cable has to use his psychic power to keep a, a virus from taking over or whatever. When a woman has sufficiently large breasts, they will kill her in her sleep or in her everyday living. You know, she turns around too fast. The the motion just, just cracks her across the chin and she's out like a light. You know, that happens in traffic and you're done for. Uh, what women have to do when it reaches this size is actually learn the mystic arts so that they can control and dampen the inertia of their giant massive anime titties such that they don't become roving ballistic weapons. Um, there's a lot of romanticism uh, around like tragic characters, you know, characters with uh, you know, viruses or, you know, like, let's say, again, to throw it to X-Men, like the, the rogue relationship. Oh, she can't touch anyone. She's not allowed to be close to anybody. Imagine the danger that women face every day when they are stapled to two murderous implements. Imagine it. Uh, it's, it's not something to take lightly, having a, having an astronomically sized 
anime boob. It's tough. It's tough out there. So, uh, that's why I gotta pick Sorceress. To pay homage to... <laughs> oh, shit. To pay homage to, uh, how brave they are to carry those, those things around. Those massive jahungas. Yeah, <laughs> goddamn. Ugh, <laughs> oh, this game rules. Also, these, like, deep cellos in the background. Mm, so medieval. This game, this game totally has the energy of, like, Gauntlet, uh, but modern and more of a J... More dialed up, you know? The restraint's gone. Why did we need it? Why does anything have to be restrained? What, what's the point of good taste? <laughs> That's almost what Dragon's Crown asks. Uh, to wonderful effect. Oh shit, you're right. This isn't so much Jug, though. I mean, Jug's a stoner. Um... I like the name, though. I like it a lot. Uh, let's see. Mm. Juji? Hmm. Juggernaut? Yeah, jugs are not. <laughs> yeah, the jugs are not. Okay, I like that. I like I I was trying to think of like nug. I can put something on the end of that and make it something, but y'all got they all got there before I did. I like it. Hopefully it'll fit. No! I mean, jugs are... Oh, uh, Damn, if, if I could get to, like... Jugs? That seems good to me. <laughs> Booberella? I don't think that would fit either. Kahongos is pretty good. Jugzerker. I don't think that fits either. <laughs> Those are all really long. Oh. Crescent Knight. Wide Scarlet. Hey, what? Oh, okay. My fat fingers are hitting the touchpad. I gotta I gotta readjust my thumbs. I'm not used to that dual sense shape. Kinda like the Scarlet. I I'm I'm fairly convinced. Yeah, it was Titania before, uh, but I guess I didn't say. But whatever, we're starting anew. This time with feeling. <clears throat> but like, I swear, you know how like you, when people get tall, you tend to think that they have a deeper voice, and when they get tall, they, they, they talk like this. I swear to God, for some reason, that's the deal with Japanese characters and titties. When they're huge, it's like, oh, hello, young boy. Come into my room. They did. They become very like, like low and bassy and breathy. Uh, I guess it's it's the sound of your voice resonating through those massive ca caverns before they vault out into the world. Uh, ah, da, da. Yeah, that thing. Indeed. I mean, it's that's basically the English version of that. Well then. Indeed. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Well, then. I actually really like that voice. <laughs> but... <laughs> it is Weeby Wednesday, so... You seated yourselves and called for a stein of the finest mead. Your partner, Rani, is in a particularly good mood. Quaffing the bar's spirits buoyed your spirits. When things are lively, Rani will recount a certain tale. You were an adventurer, just starting out, and didn't know right from left. It was then that you first met. We flashing back? Ah. Oh yeah. Can you believe? You haven't even seen the half of what these titties can do. They, they know all the tricks. Hey, Steph. Did you get some Valentine's Day decorations? Ah. That's a nice looking heart. Yeah, sparkly. The family has grown. We have another heart. Yeah, old Tricky Tits. Uh, it's, she's the, uh, she's the wonder of every bar. Her left boob is pushing itself forwards. Yeah, it's like kind of perspective. It's like, it's like that Captain America pick, but with just torpedo-like titties. 
Good stuff to join you. We don't have another dual sense controller. Alright. I guess there they go. There's some residual motion, you know, as you'd expect. There's some astounding slush. It's like a waterbed. Damn. Alright. They like they enter any room about about 30 seconds before she does. Oh yeah, the run animation's pretty uh pretty painful looking. Huh. Now this is a Wednesday. Yeah, it only took it only took a little bit, didn't it? We settled into it pretty fast. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, so the the air attack is what we want to see. It's like a chameleon's eyes darting around. She can see in 360 degrees with those things. Hamana? Hamana. Oh yeah. There we go. Cast magic spells. Ooh. The type of magic will vary. Ice magic. Ha! Okay. that keep happening so I'm like I'm just hitting the buttons right and then my thumb will just graze off the touchpad it's really weird I feel like I'm choking too much up on the controller or something could you move could you hand up could you, uh. I'm glad I'm doing the tutorial again. It would have been a why is what are you doing there, hand? What do you? I'm seriously not touching the uh, pad. Is there something on it? Because like that makes the hand move around, but it just kind of turns itself on sometimes. What does it do? It. The music and art in this game is impeccable, and you will unlock etchy pieces. Oh, really? Just a little tasteful horniness here and there. Maybe the pad is dirty? I mean, it doesn't look like it. It looks really smooth, actually. There will be shiny things you can use the hand to find you'll get items. Oh, okay, so you kind of search the environment with it. Oh, okay. A tiny tongue. So teeny tiny. Shall I open that door for you? The rogue Ranny inquired, after appearing from out of nowhere. He thought that it would be a simple matter to take advantage of your naivete and pocket some coin. A gambit, you are not shadow banned. Also, thank you for the sub. <laughs> Those boobs have a mind of their own? Yes. It requires all the magical power in her being to control it. Command them. Titties! Do not fly around wantonly. That's why it's so difficult. Broken Reel, thank you very much for the reset. Ah, uh, okay. It's my turn. Done! Oh, wait, I can't. Okay, that's how you do it. Got it. Good job, Lenny. That's some big ass treasure, huh? Oh. Oh, fine. What? Cl 
click with the finger. Oh, yeah. oh L1. Okay. Voila. Huh? Good. Crap, it's orc. Oh man, I love the way that the life bar blinks like that. That's really cool looking. Classic aesthetic. Damn, I didn't know you could just mash those out. Ding! This, uh, <sighs> what a freeze frame. Look at those things whipping around. There's like motion blur on it. God, the, the bruising. The sheer like, her, her forearms would be all like bashed up. Bones gotta be real strong to take that kind of pressure. Woof, there they go. Since that point, you've been journeying under mutually beneficial terms. If you find Shiny, get it before he does. Combat, he will steal it from you. Oh, that's cute. Locks. Yeah, ribs constantly broken. It's just a bone plate in the front, really. So much scar tissue. Alright, cool, 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 cool. Let's get out of this tavern. We've had enough reminiscing. Man, do we get a late intro? You came to Hydland as an adventurer. Like many of your fellows, you strove to challenge the dangerous labyrinths here. I did, yeah. The labyrinths were every bit as perilous as you'd heard. Most were lucky to even have their bones exit the ruins. Man, even she's got big old shakers. You currently belong to the guild. I recommend registering. You can get jobs there Damn. and learn skills. Oh, that's a cool looking castle. Damn! Why didn't they put big old tits on that castle, huh? In full armor, the guildmaster Samuel Joseph oh stands God. in the center of the. It's like a fist of the North Star character. A statue. It's a tiny, tiny head. He appraises you with a look and dismissively states that only worthless adventurers leave their equipment in disrepair. Your travels thus far have what left your saying? equipment positively thrashed. Oh. You resolve to rectify that before returning. The Guildmaster directs you to Morgan's Magic Item Shop. The magician is even able to repair magical equipment. Yeah, Captain. I love the designs. They went over the top on everything. Yeah, everything is like... Everything is just smashed to the way other end of the volume spectrum. Like the thief, he's all like wiry and hunched over. His body is like an S-curve. Like it's just so beyond any normal human shape in every way. And, like, sexuality is one way in which it's extreme, but it's extreme in pretty much every possible way. So it's, like, it's so much different than something that's just hypersexualized, because it's hyper-everything. It's, it's great. To be deemed worthy by the Adventurer's Guild, you must first repair your broken equipment. Wah, wah. Like, I guess, I guess the best thing is... This looks like a game where this character makes sense. And that's, like, to me, the ultimate compliment. That's the entire goal, really. Is to make massive-ass titties, but make a world around them so they don't seem as ridiculous. Uh, and that's what this game does, so... Congratulations. That's the whole point of world building, by the way. It's to excuse the presence of large titties. And this game get a lot of controversy. You conquer a labyrinthine set of stairs. <laughs> Shit! Shopkeeper and wit welcomes you to her establishment. God damn! Oh. Keep your mouth shut, gentlemen. Unless you want a mouth full of titty. There's no other room for anything in this. Oh my god! Just the anatomy here is so wild. The way they drew it, because she actually has all the muscles. And then there's just a giant fucking thing on... Like, that's crazy. Usually they never draw that, that musculature. They're just like a mannequin that has a giant tit attached to it. That's fucking amazing. Um, sorry, I got distracted. 
There wasn't a whole lot of controversy about this. It was more that, like, uh, I think it was... Yeah, it was Jason Schreier was, like, getting really weird about it. He was like, ugh, it's just so icky because the titties are so big. And then, like, he, like, actually got kind of called out by the, the director. The, I think it was the maybe the art. One of the developers of the game kind of called him out and was like, come on, bro. Like, you're being a little... You're being a little, like, just being a little shit. And he was just kind of like, eh, I just stand on the side. Like, he was just... He just came out like a huge ass dweeb. That was the like the the controversy is. He was the like m he was like the morality he was the moral self-appointed moral judger of the titty committee, and uh, saw fit to like be weird puritan about it, um, and got got into a little bit of a snip fit with one of the developers. It was more about the like it was more just like it wasn't. Nobody came out of it looking good. I think. Uh, that's one of those sorts of deals. So, that was it. That was it. Everyone else was an adult about it. <sighs> Speaking of being an adult, mother of God. Oh. Maybe it was other people reporting on that or the situation in general? Yeah, I think so. I mean, it was drama. It was drama. The 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 game gaming blogosphere have has trafficked in drama for a while. Are you going to be okay? I think so gotta get my breath goodness how like how is this ring this ring is staying up because the titties are holding it in place i only am just now seeing this she has this like metal band around her midsection the, it's not her hips and there's a there's like a ridge on the top of it so yeah if you dropped a titty onto it it would actually kind of hold it in place and that ring is also the like holding the cloth in place oh my gosh her clothes are held up by her boobs I guess it is going over her shoulder. Yeah, no, it's going over her shoulder and down her back, too, so there's that. But... Wow. The titty's PS5 big, yeah. There's no object's repair which does not fall under her purview. From ornate magic staves to rusted axes. Welcome to my shop. What would you like? Just utterly in awe. I like this menu. Uh, I've al I always like it when I think it's a really good sign when you can reduce characters to like really tiny round avatar items, and you can tell who they all are very easily. I think that, that speaks really to really good game design or character Adventures design. Come here not only for repairs, but for appraisals. There's a fair amount of that, in, like Final Fantasy. Items. I think I'm okay. I think I keep nudging the right stick. That's why that stupid thing keeps popping up. My, my hands are all over the place. I got wild hands tonight. I don't know why. They're fidgety. They're fidgety. Clicking on the player. Huh. Your equipment is now unmarred. You should return to the guild and see if the guildmaster deems you worthy. Clicking on the... This player? I don't appreciate what you're making me do, game. Maybe it doesn't happen in town. You're making me look bad in front of Twitch. Once again, the Guildmaster Samuel Joseph stands in the center of the Guild Hall, like a statue. With your equipment now in tip-top condition, you request to join the Guild. Samuel issues you a test of skill. What will you do? Ooh. It's, it's easy to read, like... It's easy to read... Almost a self-conceited nature from a magician, I think. Like, magicians are always really fucking smug, right? Because they have magic powers. They don't have to till the fields or whatever. That feels more right. Ch chat vote? Actually, yeah, that... Actually, it's it's kind of... Structured perfectly for that. So, yeah, hold on a minute. Okay, I'll just let it go for one minute. Start poll. Alright, there is now a live poll. You can vote 
on the direction of this woven tail. Can you imagine how hard he's trying not to stare? I don't know. This man looks like he's seen war. I feel like once certain things happen to you, it's not that hard to not look at a titty. No, I take that back. It's actually really hard. Or the secret C choice for breast? We're, well, it, sorry. Soda burp. If it were there, uh, everyone would pick it. So it's just a given. This face looks kind of like a man's. Ah. So you don't you don't vote by putting the letter in chat. You have to tap on the like if you're on mobile, you, there should be a banner at the top of chat asking you to vote on something. Uh, and uh, there's usually a thing to click on at the top of chat, so that might be where you want to look. Ooh, but it seems like B is, yeah, maybe I poisoned the well, but I do feel like I don't need to take your paltry tests, smooth brain. I have magic power. After hearing your reply, Samuel states that deeds, not words, are the truest hallmark of the worthy. I still, whatever. I have boobs, who cares? Just go back. Oh, we Once failed, I guess. Okay. Your equipment not watched. Jeez, your really? Test. Oop. All right. To prove your metal for the guild master. Your choices do matter in this game. To the ancient temple ruins to assist the warrior, Roland. All righty. Huh. That was the wrong answer. Yeah, I guess so. Was recently found in the ruins on the outskirts of town. Use that to reach your destination. All right. Is there a way to sprint? Wait. Oh, there we go. Well, sorta. Yeah. I thought that said hype land for a second. I was like, fuck yeah! Let's go! Bro, get in the van! We're going to hype land! <laughs> really nice. I wouldn't expect to hear this upon arriving in Hypeland, I have to admit. Beautiful. This is from Chiltopia, Many yeah. Things lie within from the lands beyond. Old Elysian Temple. Some quiescent, some far less so. An ancient dragon spoken of in myths is said to have destroyed the Elysian civilization in one night. So sad. I will pick. I will help you after I've picked up all this treasure. All right, what's up? Uh, is that is this good? That I'm doing this. You this? liberated a fairy. Okay. That was trapped in a cage. I, I guess I did. I've just now realized that I tend to I like rest my I rest a thumb on a stick. Uh, whenever it's in its like natural resting state. That's interesting. Is that something I can click on? Has this opened my inventory yet? No. It just make, it just looks creepy. Why did you invite me to do that game? Oh, that's right. It's my turn. Yes, buddy. When you open a treasure chest, you will obtain ranked equipment. 
Once you return from the dungeon, you'll be giving the chance to appraise, keep, or sell the equipment you gain. Got it. Okay. They keep the they keep the RPG and loot layer sort of like you can't you can't muck around with that while you're you're beating things up. I think I like that, especially in a co-op in a co-op experience. I'm a big fan of either uh, keeping keeping the inventory management to a different phase of the game. Uh, or making it inline. Like, the way that, um, oh, that's a pomegranate. Or, wait, a fig, I think. God, that, that is so similar to Odin's Sphere. Anyway, um, what was I gonna say? Oh, yeah, the way that Diablo 3 does it is actually brilliant. It does require, like, massively condensing information, but... You have made your way to Roland. Oh, baby. At the guild's behest, he is looking for adventurers who went missing in the ruins. You can see the muscles on the outside of his body. It's not even skin. He, he's so ripped, his skin has turned translucent. And like he's flexing. It's like, <laughs> yeah, this is a pillar man for sure. Look at that neck. Good God. Wow. If he, lay, if he laid down flat in a rainstorm, his body would collect a pool. There's just so much surface area. Birds would come and, like, have little baths in the, like, recesses of his trapezius. Jesus Christ. And his traps got traps. For you to pass your guild exam... Look at that belt buckle! Help him. Roland tells you to search in the ruins that are submerged in water. Much time has passed since the missing were last seen. He tells you to bring back their bones if they are found dead. All these dead-ass orcs around? Oh, man. He's just working up a good sweat. I'm sorry I can't look like him. Now you know what it's like. Now you know what it's like for every poor lady out there that doesn't have 400 pound titties. You know what it's like for them now. Now you know what they have to compete compete with. Right? So remember that. You can't have abs on the outside of your stomach. That's what women want. That's what they want. You can't give it to them. But Dragon's Crown is out here. Yeah. Holy shit. Dragon's Crown is out here setting the unrealistic standard. It's not fair, fellas. Oh, Jesus, no. Oh, Jesus. There, there's some pretty A-plus animation work going on here, huh? Huh. Don't take my treasure. Wait, hold on a minute. Outstanding. Oh, he's taking it! Aww. Uh, I'd, so I would play that, unfortunately. Oh, wait. I don't think... I think I could play it, but I wouldn't be able to hear it, unfortunately. Do it again? What, get, get attacked by the snake? Oh, yes. You guys gotta pay attention, alright? Simple. This isn't a video game where you can just do anything you want whenever you want. I got it. Done. Also, I know that voice. Is that the orca is, that is apparently getting here via the <laughs> Their cargo is various articles from ships that have been reported missing. Oh, they're dead. Okay. Oh. I don't even think I saw that. It's my turn. Like the food mechanic is also kind of gauntlety, but I know that that's also from uh Oh, you just she just goes to town, huh? Okay, so you you can overcharge like as much health as you can eat basically? I got it. Okay. Done. Oh, that's Yuri. Okay. Always love it. Love to hear it. If you walk, you can prevent her from eating food. Yeah. Is there a reason to, though? It's it's like eat it now or eat it later, right? It doesn't seem like your health ticks down. That's what I would assume. Oh, little lizard. Hey, little guy. I can't... Oh, right. That's fine. It's my turn. Why is it so hairy? Huh? 
save food for when you need it. Yeah, but like if you eat it early, it just it just stacks over your health, right? Or did I read that incorrectly? Oh, is that a trap? Seems to be. Oh, it doesn't. Oh, I, I thought if you ate and you were at max health, you would get stack more health. I guess I was not at max health, so never mind. So I'm eating. Man, I gotta be a little less a little less loose on the stick. Oh, that's weird. How do you open... Can you open an inventory screen when you're in combat? What is that? All right. You found the bones of a missing adventurer. <sighs> I saw Sometimes, that. Sometimes, the dead have been known to leave behind a message right before they perish. It adds extra health up to 150% of your max. Okay. So if you're at 150%, will it still eat? I guess... I guess is there any kind of inefficient eating? Ever. Oh, that water effect's cool. Lizard men! Didn't take very long. It eats if there is food. Okay, so you you can be at max health and your character will still eat if you aren't moving. Oh, it's inefficient if, if you're at 149 out of 150, you only gain the 1% then? Yeah. Okay, I okay. So if your character eats at full health, then that makes sense. Oh man, Harpy's got big old titties too. Uh oh, uh oh. No! I just happened to hold my staff in a particular place. Ah, shit. Okay, stop jumping at it. Got it. Damn. I Oh, I gotta dodge. That's right. I have a teleport. I'm not using it. Hey. Oh, wait. Oh, I, it's too early. Shit. Oh, stop squeezing my boobs! My melon boobs around my very phallic staff, stop! Damn. Birds can't have breasts. This one does. Shit! I don't know why I'm so bad at this. Wait. R1 is not dab? Or is not dodge? I thought that was teleport. Or do you need magic to do it? No mana. Okay. Got it. Okay. There we go. why I'm so late on these dodges. Shit. Damn it, ugh, I keep getting my buttons mixed up. Ugh. 
Oi. All right. What? Oh, right. Wrong button. Damn. Okay. I don't know why this is this is really throwing my brain for a loop. Wrong button. Okay. Ah. What? Oh, come on! That was interesting. I... That's got me. Dead. No, my poor boobs. I... Oh, you just revive? There's gotta be a penalty, right? One life point. Alright. I don't know why, like, I swear to god, this must be the exact opposite of games that I've played recently. Where, like, circle is attack, R1 is dodge, and, like, square is recover. I just keep getting them completely backwards. There, jeez. There seem to be more nests similar to this one spread throughout the area. You exit the area, taking care to avoid drawing the attention of any other harpies. If movement was faster, dot, dot, dot. Perhaps if I were playing another character, maybe? Lulu, Lulu. <laughs> Mandalorian video game. What Mandalorian have big old titties? All right. You can appraise unknown items which are claimed from the treasure chest. You can also sell your unwanted spoils. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, does it cost? Okay. Oh, that's interesting. That's a fun little risk reward. Oh. Blessed Garnet Scepter. Luck plus five. Okay. Huh. I don't know how to appraise these, like, Disparate prices. Or how, what, what sense to make of those? Like, why does some of these sell for so little? Oh well. Huh. So if I... Yeah. Oh, obtain. I will obtain you. Can you obtain it without appraising it? You can. Alright. Okay, they're selling quit tickle. Okay. You have fulfilled the request. Oh, now I can get to the your menu. work Weird. to the guildmaster. Why is she not? I mean, I know why. But I like that her staff is right in between them booty cheeks. Both of her dual lumps have something shoved into them. She is just stuffing every every little nature's pocket she's got. Well, maybe not every. You can equip a weapon you haven't appraised. Interesting. Wait, can you? Equip it. I thought I got new earrings. Oh, I didn't even look what they were for. That may not have been for me. No, they sure weren't. Wait, no, they are. Why can't I quit? Oh, wait. Level three. Got it. I am not high enough level to put those earrings on. You gotta be careful about these things. That could, that could, that would be dangerous. Wearing earrings without a license. Oh, look at you, little guy. Oh, with your little bottle? Helping your pop? Having a nice little, gonna have a nice little meal of beans and wine. No, I guess there's some apples in there. All right. You return to the guild to report your quest. 
However, Samuel gives you an additional task. It is possible to resurrect the dead with their bones. He tells you to go to the temple to attempt the resurrection ritual. Canaan Temple is a temple dedicated to the worship of the goddess Althena. Proceed there immediately. Got it. How juicy do you think Althena's rack is? Actually, see, <laughs> you maybe a little more. To uh, attempt to resurrect guild members at Canaan Temple. Perhaps Athena or whatever is a little more reserved. Perhaps. The ritual is pretty. I'm looking forward to it. What's up, Humberton? Welcome to my shop. What would you like? Glad to be here. Sure, you can have my staff. <laughs> oh, I should have paid more attention to the... To the kinds of weapons it was. This is a... Hmm. I guess I don't really know. I don't know if it's going to be ice magic. It doesn't look like it. Althena is the legally distinct Athena. <laughs> Let's go to the temple. Talk to a very normal, respectable looking As goddess. You enter, a kindly voice echoes from the back. He's so melty. You seem to be in need of help, a monk says, and approaches you. What's he wearing? What is this? It's like a tiny, like Virgin Mary around his neck, but like a little action figure? What is this? The prayer of the monks sometimes restores the dead to life. The goddess bestows mercy to those whose time has not yet come. You gotta play every Resident Evil game? Is that what you mean by Ari? Throat lotion? <laughs> Amazing name? Uh, man, I love Resident Evil so much. Wandering one, how can I help you? Humphrey. Allow this heart to beat again. Quench their thirst. Lead the wandering soul back. Reverse death. And awaken them. Holy the crap. Reaches the goddess. You were not the kidding. The pile of bones is made new. The adventurer pledges their allegiance to you as thanks. That makes sense. I did resurrect the adventurers them after all. you resurrect will wait for you at the inn. That's a good pup. You can now fill out your party with those who are waiting at the inn. Please be aware that if you leave an area and one of your party has fallen, they will become lost. If you encounter any bones during your questing, be sure to bring them back and resurrect them so that they can assist you. Uh, Manly Dan? Gotta head out. Well, thanks for hanging out. Hope you have a good evening, or whatever you're up, whatever you're off to. All right. Welcome, Humphrey. Uh, I'm sorry to say that doesn't appear. There doesn't appear to be a button to pet the dog. Perhaps uh, if I get to max level, I will be able to pat that head. You have fulfilled the request. Report your work to the guildmaster. Gosh, he's big. Humphrey, a big guy. Okay. Look how she... She has to keep... She has to hold her hat. Because her hat might blow off. That's the only concerning part about running for that character. Ah. After delivering your report, you think you see part of a Got that trophy. Samuel's face. Ding! You are now registered with the guild. The char character can also make bones into skeleton soldiers once you choose that skill. Awesome. You may now get cooperation from guild members. They may participate in your party and help you in completing quests. The Adventurer's Guild has a backlog of quests because many adventurers are occupied with the Dragon's Crown rumors. The king and his retinue left to find the Dragon's Crown and are missing. Many guild members are now searching for them. Uh, Homerton, yeah, I started 13 Sentinels, uh, but I didn't get, I got far enough to know that it's probably a game I'm really gonna like uh, and didn't play it anymore. Is, I don't know, is 13 Sentinels, is 13 Sentinels available through backwards compatibility? Uh, I think I installed it. Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay, yeah. So I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get back to it one of these days because I'm intrigued by it for for certain. 
The existence of this crown that supposedly controls dragons is disputed. But the king was obsessed with finding it. Samuel hurriedly assigns you a new task. You get the feeling that he deems you reliable and trustworthy. The story is super twisty. It seemed to be warning me about that. Yeah. Um, uh, like, for real, the intro of 13 Sentinels, and I, I, I said it when I played it, and this isn't for the memes, reminds me of the intro to the movie Cloud Atlas. Like, the movie has to straight up say, you gotta, like, this is gonna be a big thing, and the only way to tell it is like this, so please be patient. That's kind of what it, the vibe I got from 13 Sentinels, is they were like, there's a lot to go through here, and I promise it's gonna matter, but you have to, like, be ready for... You gotta be ready for it. So I, I got pretty much that far into it of like, okay, like, I, I think games like that and Red, like Red Dead 2 kind of does it. There are some games that try to telegraph what their pace is going to be up front. And that was one of those games that seemed to say, you're going to have to prepare for a long, big kind of savor the ride sort of experience. It's a request from this country's prime minister. The quest's details will be provided at the castle. I, I want to get back the to lives it. Lives of the powerful people in that grand castle. You happily accept the job. I'm on PS5 right now. Stack of cakes. Hmm. You're back. Oh, there we go. I do want skellies. I mean, I should probably bring some of them back. But also, I want skellies. So, wait a minute. How do you... Did it say how to do it? Was I just not looking? Oh, was I... Press X near bones. Okay. That's easy. Actually, what is this? Is this just, like, health up and stuff like that? Okay. Yeah. If I level up this, does this only apply to Jugs? Or does this apply to every character? Is this is that like a count wide? Oh, oh wait, I have another skill point. You right now? Okay. No one else. Got it. Okay. Thank you. Go to the castle. You accepted a new request from the guild. You must go to the castle for further details. Oh, okay. Joing. 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 What's the good news today? These boobs. Flanked by guards. Damn honkers. Through the secure castle. Princess Vivian and Prime Minister Gustav awaited you. God, they have those, like, cherry red noses. Like, old... Old, like... Netherlands paintings of... Barons and Vons, whatevers. Can she whack de whack nuts with her staff? Haven't seen a whole lot of that yet. The Prime a lot of Minister ice magic. speaks a lot. In contrast to the silent princess... Because everyone was drunk? Asks you to Is that really why? To ...keep this matter secret. The royal scepter has been stolen. A witness who saw the thief described him as Tomit, a known bandit. Your job is to track down Tomit and retrieve the scepter. Also, for the sake of the kingdom, this must be kept secret. Rani whispers that he knows of this Tomit. He is well known and is based out of the old capital. I'm not I'm not a historian, but yes. You bow. It's good and to know. Leave the throne room. In order to retrieve the royal scepter, you chase the thief into the ruins of the old capital. Is there a... Uh, speaking of some of these dialogue sequences, um, is there a VR, like, boob simulator? And I don't mean, like, you look down and see tits, because that's been in a few games, praise God. But I mean more like... 
like VR experiences that simulate talking to somebody who's visibly like looking down. Because I don't know that it, like I've never been in a conversation with somebody and they're like staring directly at my dick, except for maybe Stephanie. Praise praise God. But uh, that's called boob morning for real. Hold on. I see a really... <laughs> I saw a really fun gif of a, a titty with coffee waving at you. Uh, so it was it had a good ending. Uh, random, but... Wait a minute. I think I can show that. No, I can't. Uh, I would, but my computer's not hooked up to capture right now. It's, uh, it's console or PC, not both, unfortunately. Dead or, Dead or Alive is kind of boobs in VR. Yeah, but it's like, it's you staring at boobs, not simulating what it's like to have them and have somebody just be staring at them while you're talking to them. That's more what I, uh, that's more what I'm curious about. Hmm, you're back. You have a request. A request. We've seen a dramatic increase in the wasp population in recent days. Some of our top scholars believe that this wasp explosion is due to the decline of honey buzzards. The scholars postulate that orcs have taken up residence in the ancient temple ruins and are hunting the buzzards for food. Without the buzzards consuming the wasps, the wasp population is growing unchecked. Okay, that I'm just like, I'm just moving the controller around and it's like somehow like manifesting as a uh, touch, touching or whatever, I don't know. If their supply chain can be broken, the orcs residing in the ruins will be forced to leave, thus allowing the buzzard population to rebound. Destroying a recent orc shipment in the harbor should be enough to encourage the orcs' relocation. Got it. Damn. Look at that. Like, yeah. Okay, so it comes up all at once. I was like... How is her ass the first thing flying out of the screen when I pause the game? Um, it's certainly the thing that captures the most attention, man. That booty cheek flies at you like a torpedo. You gotta dodge it. Hwah! It's gonna get you. It's gonna smash you in the face and break your nose. Uh, yeah. Okay. I guess that's just it. I'm in the flow now. Time to, uh, time to go mess up some honey buzzards. Right, let's go. Let's go find some skellies. Uh, I didn't. I need to. Oh, I have fire magic now. Okay. Cool. Ooh, oops. Sorry, buddy. Sorry. 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 Could you put yourself out or something? Cool. This this fits better anyway. I've got a. I've got the red clothing. Wait, you can't see the map? Hmm. Every staff has a different power. Oops! God, I thought... I thought circle was run. Okay. Oh, wow, that's weird. So I guess you just have to run through that screen every time? That's a really, really cool stage select. She's focusing too much magic on her boobs and can't control the other spells. These are the ruins of the ancient capital city. It was destroyed following an invasion from the Northern Empire. It's true and tragic and I'm glad that you understand. Now it is a dangerous place, full of dragons and wyverns. Wyverns. Be well, the Y valve. Don't worry, I've got fire magic. I, I guess you have to hit up shortly after attacking? <laughs> Trying to get the timing of that. Okay, I, you just can't hold it. All right. 
I think you should be able to change the narrator to one of the playable characters. Voice actor as well? Yeah? Hmm. Hmm. You're making me think some thoughts. Can I do that now? Nah, I, that, I think that has to maybe be between missions. Or you would probably know more than I would. Ow. So if if uh, if the bandit picks it up, um, you don't get credit for it. That's kind of cool, and that's just his payment for helping you unlock stuff. You can change the narration to Japanese out of the dungeon. Ooh, you're not asking about honey buzzards. These birds are dope. Oh man, those do look dope. Okay, so they just have they evolved immune immunity to bee stings or something? Flattened him. Thankfully, there's a big, strong man here to kill all the bugs for me. Tee hee. This music is fantastic. This would be just like good chilling out music. What's up, stuff? Oh, you finished it? Finished your craft? Do you want to show it to the class? Steph made a face hugger. Uh, oh my gosh, I'm blanking on the word. Huh? Anatomy? Yeah, but what's the? You like do it to frogs and worms and stuff? What's it called? Oh my gosh, how am I blanking on this word? The sec? No, something ectomy. Dissection. There we go. Yes. A face hugger dissection with all the little face hugger parts in there. Cute little guts. Cute little lungs and stuff. Little heart. It's very adorable stuff. It's 3D. Uh, our guests can come and pretend to put their face in it. What a, what a fun. Oh, that's neat. It's got little banding around the tail, too. It's very well done, stuff. Wing? Yeah, I don't... Flange? Fin? <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that is. Hmm. I didn't put buff in there. Anyway. Yes, it's now done. You're gonna just leave it sitting here on the kitchen counter. Yeah. We gotta figure out where it's gonna go. Uh... <laughs> yeah, vasectomy. One of the ectomies. There's, okay, so sometimes there's, like, a lot hidden and stuff. It seems like it's more than just where it sparkles. Maybe the sparkles are where the big ones are. It's my turn. Done. You find the bandit Tomet in a hideout amid the ruins just as Rani told you. It is said that whatever this man desires, by thievery, he can acquire. Uh, what headphones am I wearing? Cam, these are uh, Sennheiser HD 58Xs. Rani asks, are you Tomet? They're the bandit extremely legend? comfy. Beaming, he displays his spoils and tells the tale behind each item. When you ask about the scepter, he says, that was indeed I and goes on to boast exactly how he got into the castle. When you inquire further about the scepter, he deduces your true intentions and darts away. Uh, uh, how much do they cost? Well, in, in the interest of disclosure, I got them for free. Uh, they were part of a uh, promotion from Drop that was on Inside Gaming before I left Rooster Tea. I think they are $90. They're a little pricey, but they're good. And, and like... 
for, out of all the headphones I've used, there's still nothing to me that just beats an analog audio cable. Uh, it's it's the most versatile. It, it I don't know. It's the least headache. So yeah, no random. I mean, it is lucky. I won't I won't lie. But at the same time, I was working like 12 hour days. So you know, if a free pair of headphones doesn't really make up for all the unpaid overtime I put in. But it you know you take the perks where you can get them. I'm not complaining about that. And reclaim the scepter. You cannot capture a target swimming underwater. Watch for your quarry to surface. Oh. Okay. Oh! Huh. So it's food, but you gotta get the timing right. Damn it. I'll eat these berries. Come here. Oh. Where's the stupid fish? Damn it! Fuck. Okay, fine. Fine. What happened to the thief? Oh, there he is. Wait, no, that's the bad guy. Yeah, what happened to my thief? Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Never mind, he's hiding. He's just stealthy. You know him, he's just thiefing. Let's see. Oh, oops! I'm really trying to kill this guy again, aren't I? Getting you can charge while you're walking. You pass the door? Yeah, I was just exploring this way, but I'll go back. Oh, stop eating. Oh, actually, yeah, that's fine. Oh, wait, I already ate. It's my turn. Done. The thief can level up? This game reminds me a lot of, um,. Magic Sword, the Capcom beat him up that had like leveling and companions, and it was all about wizards and warriors. And I got it. It was all side scrolling with, with varying weapons and things like that. Ah, no, <laughs> by all means. I didn't want you to drop it, you should take it. That's such a fun way to, like, have a timer on ground drops. They just don't blink and go away. The little thief guy grabs them. Magic Sword was a cool and also weird game. It was, yeah. Oh, yeah, and Ruby, the, the two D&D side-scrolling games that uh, Capcom made. Yeah, they were experimenting a lot with mixing RPG mechanics with beat-em-up stuff for a minute. Um, oh, I didn't mean that. ones with King Arthur, Percival, and Lancelot on SNES. That was Knights of the Round, I think. Yeah, one, uh, kind of the same thing. Oh, here we go. 
sometimes you die. Sometimes you become a skelly man. With the skelly of a skeleton and the man of a man. They're really cute. They're very menacing. They're not quite like... Like clickety-clackety, making bone puns kind of skellies, but I like them a lot. Ooh! Oh shit, my, my earrings. I gotta be level 3 before I can put on the other ones. Oh, I'm hitting my skelly. Why are they fighting? Oh, it's that, cause that... I thought that was my, uh, thief. Ooh. Ooh, there's another one. My skelly's dead. My dude's getting his ass kicked. Oh, this fight would be impossible without somebody else to like spread out the damage. I don't know where I am, okay. There's a third one! There's a third dragon! Three dragons. This is too many dragons. Okay, some of these are like minion dragons. Fuck. Shit. He took it. He took it like a champ. I appreciate that. Oh, he's back. Oh. All right, life point. You pin down Tomet, who is so stunned that he's actually been caught that he cannot move. Relenting, he produces the scepter from his bag and hands it to you. You boozing tonight? Nah. I gotta be pretty tactical with my booze nights. Uh, and unfortunately, this is... Yet another blessed day with anime titties. So, I'm getting all of my... I'm getting titty drunk instead of uh, alcohol drunk. You have reclaimed which, the uh, scepter. Which, uh, much healthier, from the treasure turns out. Of the castle. Less calories? Uh... Last longer? Well, maybe. He's a master thief. What's on treasure? <laughs> oh, look at that! There's a grumpy face on this one! So, okay, well, I'm, I'm familiar with the ice spells at least. Damage to draconic foes. I guess, yeah, it's good to have a roster with uh, tons of buffs and stuff. In case uh, you get a tough draconic fight. Getting Or like put stacking specific resistances, yeah. I can see why having a... Decent stack of uh, accessories and, and uh, weapons and stuff is important. I guess there's there's kind of small gotcha flavors there. Boobin instead of boozin? Exactly. You can try and appraise what you can and take it. Later you can sell you it when you get better. That's a good Prime point. Minister at the castle. Oops. Uh oh. Hot stuff. Just swinging those jugs around. You gotta keep this jug safe. Use the other jugs as counterbalance. Go to castle. All right. Once again, you are led to the throne room under guard. This time, a man stands there with a presumptuous grin. 
The man tells you to hand over the scepter. This music is ominous. You tell him that you don't know what he's talking about. The man's mouth transforms into a twisted grin, and he signals his guards. They inch closer, swords at the ready. What will you do? Alright. Channel interactivity begins now. You have one minute to vote. I watched Epic Name Bro 100% this game in his Let's Play, perfected nearly every stage. Godlike. Oh, that's awesome. When it, what is perfecting a stage? Just not getting hit and killing everything? Finding all the treasure? What happened to Humphrey? I hope he's still around. Do do your followers level up too? Uh, Feudal Hunter, thanks for the cheer. And Scrambled Eggs, thank you very much for the prime. Appreciate you guys. What game is this? Seems pretty fun. Dragon's Crown. This game is so excellent. Yeah, I'm, I'm discovering just how much for me this kind of game was. I'm realizing now a friend asked me to play this with him years ago and I just never got around to it. That would have been so awesome. All right, let's you beat these guys up. Fighting starts. As soon as you steal yourself for battle, the Prime Minister and the Princess burst in. Oh. The Prime Minister orders the guards near you to stand down. Well, that, the that was impact. I love waiting for a minute for nothing, nothing, to, nothing to matter. Uh, you sigh, relieved that you didn't have to shed blood in the castle to resolve the problem. The Prime Minister tells you that man was Count Dean the younger brother of the king. He's trying to usurp the throne. Mm. The scepter indicates the throne's heir. The prime minister says Dean had Tomit steal it to deny the princess the throne. The prime minister- You don't need to pause for any of the choices here. His eyes Do any of them like matter in any of the game ever? Cause I, for it doesn't request. feel like it. It's like JRPG dialogue choice type stuff. Aha, uh -huh. aha, uh -huh. trophy. Blah, blah. The fairy you saved in the ruins appears before you. She seems to want to take you somewhere. I'm just real sad that all Vanillaware games are like locked or PlayStation locked forever. Yeah, for now. Uh, this is the game we play though. It'd be, I mean, it'd be nice if absolutely everything were on PC for all time, but I get it. It, you know, I'm blessed enough to even be able to play these games if I have to like Use a particular machine, you into an old or ivy covered go to a particular store to do it. In a cluttered room, that's that a, seems to be a laboratory. That's a very minor inconvenience in the end of things. That's as far as I'm concerned. Some people really don't like that. They like really nestling in their one. Net. I like. I consider myself blessed to have as many consoles as I do. Uh, so Judging I don't know. I'm not trying to make this to dust, be like king gamer shit, but much time has passed since anyone. Lost Deadly Premonition too. I'm gonna go on a limb and say that game needs to be played on Switch, and it needs to run that way. Uh, I don't want it. I don't want to experience it any other way. Is this a game that caused a controversy because of the big boobs? Not really. Uh, controversy is a strong word for what happened. It basically amounted to Jason Schreier complaining and being weird, and the Japanese devs basically saying like, "What's your What's your problem, man?" Um, but, it, you know, nobody came... I don't think anyone really looked good in that exchange. I kind of agreed with the Japanese dev, which is like... To, to, like... It just... I don't know. There's been some, some moments like that. But that's, that's all it was. This game made Jason Schreier called everyone pedos for liking big tits on the sorceress. Was it... Was, he, he did link it to pedophilia? Letters amidst the shambles indicate that a magician I can't remember came. I know that he was he was super uncomfortable because of the game's art style on the desk he he definitely seemed to be freaked out by how sexualized some of the characters are and then linked that to it being bad or it being like socially damaging art and which for a game like this to to say like it's damaging to society that it exists like holy fuck man you got to get out of your church or something If Rockstar wanted to make Deadly Premonition 3, that that not be hype as fuck. I mean, that'd be... 
I would be intrigued, but yeah. Those games have got to be a little rickety. Deadly Premonition 1 was not a technical marvel either. I kind of feel that way about Shenmue 3. To me, Shenmue 3 is the perfect next game in Shenmue because of everything that it is and how weird and b bad and broken and I don't know. It's uh, it's something it's something else. Off to see a magician friend named Wallace in the underground labyrinth. He obviously hasn't ever been on the internet to be offended at one game's art style. Also bans people the second they say anything critical to him. It's just like paper thin ego kind of thing. The fairy uses various interpretive gestures to indicate that she wants you to find him. All right. You accept her job request. Save at the tavern and check your trophies. The beautiful etchy art. Okay, I will. You head to Wallace's underground labyrinth to look for the magician, Lucane. Oh, yeah. What's pro problematic is... Hold on a minute. I, I don't want to dwell too much on this. Uh, oh, yeah, it was all NeoGAF stuff. What's problematic is the character is explicitly designed to draw our eyes to her large breasts. They're exposed, they're jiggling, they're disproportionate. Also, what kind of asshole uses two semicolons in the same sentence anyway? They're immediately striking. They're part of a lollycon fantasy d drawn to appeal to people who are interested in lollycon fantasies? And people who are interested in large breasts. Well, those are two different things, so I don't think he knows what he's talking about, which is not a shocker. But the NeoGAF post is my favorite because it's so completely wrong. Well, yeah, I, I mean, I, I remember reading that when it was happening. Um, and there was a photographer who was calling him out very effectively. Basically, like, because of the discussion and because of his discomfort with the game, the photographer was basically saying, you don't belong in art criticism with this attitude of, of thinking like some things are, are morally unacceptable um, or being unable to appreciate art that is outside of your boundaries of taste. Because uh, the photographer was basically like, I remember, like, oh, it's all coming back to me. So yeah, Jason was like, look, dude, to a, to a, like a working artist, you don't get it, man. Video games are different. He was like, we have a huge problem in gaming culture with the sexualization of game characters. And this was a huge part of games media narrative at the time. They loved, this was like the first time that games media started getting on a real, like, bang the moral drum thing is was with, you know, women victimhood and stuff. Uh, yeah, and he was like, no, video games are special, and that's why in context this game is not good. And then the guy was like, bro, I'm a photographer. <laughs> he was basically like, there has been there has been a classism problem in photography for a long time because cameras have always been expensive. So it's always kind of a rich man's game and that's an issue. Also, photography was pornography and had that kind of connotation because it was the first kind of pornography. So he's like, if you were a photographer, people thought that you like traded in smut or something like that. So this, this, this dude who was posting on NeoGAF was like, not only are you, not only are you wrong about this, but you're even wrong about appraising the state of games and their role as art. Uh, and then he was basically like, "You should not be a critic." Uh, and that dude was right, but whatever. Uh, he's got a cozy byline with Bloomberg, so I guess uh, he's tenured now. I don't. I just part of me is just like. I'm glad that those conversations are happening because to me that that conversation not not the fact that one person is considered a respected name but conversations like that do mean that that games are are mature that they have arrived as art uh, that somebody who grabs their pearls the second they see a boob gets called out on it it's great um, what an unsung hero I think that that dude is probably I mean that that thread is probably still there I mean if you just Google here, let me see if that still comes up. Unless he deleted it. Um, um, God, he, he writes like such a dweeb, too. I just, it makes my skin crawl sometimes, because I know that that's probably how they talk, too. Let's see here. Oh, let's see. Reddit. Okay. Well, 
Well, I found I found the thread, uh, or rather, I found the post. Um, and if I dug around a bit, I'd probably find the person I'm thinking of. Uh, because basically, I mean. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Well, here I'll. This is this is the link that that it came out on. So, if you guys wanna, if you guys wanna feel like digging around in there, if the topic is actually, wait, I modded my Skyrim character into a succubus and she sold something milk. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, Clippy, thank you for gifting five subs. Thank you very much. Oh, I just realized I had my, uh, you guys weren't listening to the little rolling cash register sound. Um, okay, so, sorry, I was here, I came here to save, and also change the narrator. You seated yourselves and called for a stein of the finest mead. Your partner, Rani. Ah. Oh, baby. It feels, it feels like I hit the first commercial break in an anime. Love it. Absolutely love it. Are you going to say ass milk? Yeah, I, it took me a second to, to like, think that over. Uh, okay, I, and then the, um, you said that the, the uh, achievement art was the etchy stuff? Is that... I don't know how to... I don't know how to see... Why is it only showing me this one? I gotta admit, I've, I have spent much time, much time with the PlayStation 5 at all. Uh, oh, that, that sounds so bad. Pretend I didn't say that. Yeah? There we go. It's not here? Oh, is it in the game? Oh, you're checking in game. Alright. Uh, where do you do- is it at the title? Tell me about it. Or is there like a uh, a place to see it in game? At the guild? Oh, okay. Buy that PS5 off you? Uh, it's not mine. Uh, I want to see this etchy. Unless I'm just missing it? Am I totally missing it? Hmm. Oh yeah, gallery's grayed out. I guess I gotta level up a little bit or something. Alrighty. Wallace's underground labyrinth. To look for the magician Lucian. That is what I do. Huh? Me, lefty and righty are on our way. So yeah, it's uh I don't know, it's um talk to the guild master. Oh, okay. Go back to stage one, beat those two orcs, and you'll get the first side quest done? Okay. Yeah, the mu Yondo, the music at the world map is so so good. There he is. There's our guy. Side quests unlock art. Ah, delightful. Did, do I need the side quest? Oh, the honey buzzard one. Is that the one that... Can I give it to you? Yeah, take that, take that little guy. He looks so tiny when he holds it. Oh, side quests also give you skill points. All right. Can you get a shout out for the cause? I gotta stay neutral on this one. 
I am I am merely a, a pro anime titty. Uh, that's where that's where I draw the line for my activism. Yes. If it's got boobs, I'm into it. I don't care if it's subbed or dubbed. What is leveling up the uh? What does leveling up the thief do? It's my turn. Does he um? Does he like lockpick faster? It actually feels really good to like scrape jewels out of the background. That's a really cool feeling. Oh, I came out here before. I just didn't have the quest. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Some people think that only original voice actors can capture the intended emotion of the characters. Oh, sure. Uh, you know, it's it's similar to, to only thinking that the initial original cast run of a musical is the only real one. I get it. I don't know that I have an opinion on it. I think, I think to some degree that might be uh, overestimating the emotional resonance of anime, but... Who am I to tell somebody what they are and aren't allowed to, to feel? Oh uh, so I've already, I've completed it, right? Complete. So I can just leave now, right? If I quit? Will that keep all of my items and stuff? Sounds gatekeeper-y. As long as you're not telling other people that that's the only way that they could enjoy it. That's when it crosses over into gatekeeping, but... You can have a preference, and if that preference is tied to the sentimentality of the spontaneity of artistic creation, then... Sure. Why not? What do I care? I'm just glad that enough people want dubs that they get dubbed so people have, you know, can do voice acting work. Oh. Those are nice. Oh, right, my earrings broke a million years ago. I haven't done a thing about it. Uh, take. Obtain. There we go. Is it, is it pronounced Jugza or Jugzi? Jugze? I like I like the the wisp of the E E on the end. So the hint of an E, but not the presence of one. Jugza. I guess it's it's still blowing a little bit of air after that s sound. So jugs, jugs. Was it report adventures? Oh, I think it was. Oh, record. What am I? Actually, how goat C is pronounced. My friends hated me for preferring dubs to subs, but let's be honest, that's because I prefer less serious anime. Timing on jokes always hit better with the dubs. Yeah, I think I agree with that. You're not just reading it. Um, although some, like, Japanese jokes don't translate. So that's when it has to get a little, uh... Inventive. As you go to the shop, keep to repair items after quests. Also, you can go to the temple to get the blessing of Athena. Oh. Or Althena? Wondering one. Yeah. The goddess has righteous tits. それぞれジュラ、アルテナ、ベルナスの名で知られる女神たちだ。聖天には三女神がその身を挺して邪悪なドラゴンから世界を守ったとある。世界中の女神像はその時に身代わりとなって崩れ落ちたという。Yeah, there's a a pretty healthy Pubic mound. Mitsunotsu 何度も奇跡に頼るなら信仰の深さを示すためより多くの対価を捧げなければならないああ、oh, okay ah. Ah. I like it 
sure. Do you think there is a line where art can cross a moral boundary? Of course. Um, I think... I think that's absolutely the case. Uh, I think that flows right into the other question is, can you be tolerant of immoral art? Um, and I think then that's a very nuanced question. Uh, but yeah... Like Nazi science? Sort of. I mean, there's also stuff like, what is it, a Serbian film? There's like, there's art that exists only to be as wretched and fucked up as possible. And sure, maybe there's, maybe there's something artistic in that. Um, ain't nobody die on my watch. So, you know, there, there's, there's things that exist as art and certainly can, are qualified and classified as art that are intellectually or artistically kind of devoid um, How can I... where the the only goal is is negativity the only goal is i don't know what the goal is maybe there isn't one but that's got a it's it's a much more nuanced conversation to say like well what what should be done about it or should anything be done about it where are the boundaries that's where it gets into like judgment calls what's an old tower i can't remember i haven't played bug snacks yet oh right Right, I have to find your wizard. Right, and I gotta repair stuff. Alright. And since I've done a side quest, perhaps I have a juicy image waiting for me. Dang it! Alright, maybe I gotta... ...finish this one first. Actually, MP charge. I'm, I'm spending a lot of time charging MP, so I might as well... Oh. Oh, okay. Which I'll just go maximum MP as well. Click quest. Oh. Sounds useful. Skill items in your bag. Ah. You have a request. Aha. Honey buzzards, eater of wasps. This is not a horny buzzard. But it is incredible art. Wow. God damn. There's just so much to take in. It's such a mixture of brushwork, too. It's really interesting. The, like, feathers on the right side, I guess, I guess since they're closer, like, perspective-wise closer to you, you see more detail, and then it's, on the body of the bird, it's just a bunch of very fuzzy brush strokes. Ooh. An advanced detachment of orc troops. Oh, wait, never mind. That's just the, uh... Oh, that's cool. It's credited. I appreciate that. Kill ten enemies while riding atop a dragon lisk or saber tooth. Beasts often live in old capital. All right. Mental absorb for MP is helpful. I don't, is that the one where you get MP for hitting with basic attacks? I feel like I just don't do a lot of basic attacking. It just feels like it doesn't do any significant amount of damage. But I guess if it keeps an enemy in hit, in hit stun and generates magic, then it has a bit more of a has a bit more of a punch behind it, I guess. Uh, all right, hold on a second. I'm gonna do this one too because I want to see more horny art. Okay, tell me he's old capital. Got it. Get your red cute kitties. Can't wait. The proportions of that bird are kind of wonky, but I guess it fits this art style. Yeah. The, despite being outrageous, this art style is consistent.
ここはかつて北部の帝国の信仰で廃墟となった旧オートだ今ではドラゴンやワイバーンが救う危険な場所と化している How do I ride it? Oh, there we go. Oh. There we go. Yeah. Oh my gosh, she said side saddle. Delightful. Oops. Are we metal slug now? Established dominance and rode the beasts. Boy, I can think of some, uh. Believe me, I can think of some horny imagery when it comes to beast mastering. Good job, Jugs. Hey! Shiny in the back? Ah. That's okay. Just gets us to the loot art a little faster. And in that regard, it's worth the price. Hmm. You're back. Oh my. Okay. So it's. I don't. I think there's a word for this. But what's it called when a woman's thigh gap is so intense, but you can see her booty cheeks like pushing together from the front? Uh. You can see back butt. Horny chat needs some boobies. I think I. I think I. Oh. It's in the URL. Butt fang? Oh, okay. That makes total sense. I'd never actually heard it called that. Again, this musculature, too. What's weird is, like... I'm just... The, the titties have musculature. It's like they're, they're pressed into that shape. Damn. Clapper clap. Fucking beautiful is what it's called. This is a thing of beauty. It's got those skin dentations around the hips, too. Jesus Christ. Titties strong. Powerful titties. Well, this one, this one delivers. This one delivered. Appreciate that. I was feeling a little, a little, a little under horny by the last one. But, uh, feeling like it's, like it's more than made up for it now. What is it? Mental absorb? That's what you guys were saying? Okay. Yeah, that one seems like a good one. Getting this painted on the side of my van. Wait, were there vagina bones? I didn't even see. I didn't even look. What am I thinking? What am I thinking over here? Oh, that seems important. Oh, I have to be at way higher level. Ass <laughs> so fat you can see it from the front. <sighs> it's just beautiful, isn't it? Which flight? Cool. Can we look at it again? Yes, you can. Bang. Um, I mean, there's a hip, there's like a, a, a thigh line, but I don't know that that could reasonably be called vagina bones. Maybe, maybe. I think that's just having some fat ass, chunky ass legs. <laughs> Big titty dark elf waifu, pretty much. And then here's a bird. I'd make a nice poster. Merely, all you must merely do is uh, screenshot this stream, print it out, send it to your your inkjet, your Hewlett Packard inkjet printer, 
And then presto. Your college dorm has never looked cooler. Uh, oh yeah, I gotta go to the labyrinth to find, uh, find wizard. Doja Cat explained the thematic meaning behind Asofat. You can see it from the front on her song. Hmm. <laughs> and now we, now we understand. Now we know what they meant. Or you can go on the Dragon Scrum wiki page. Or it's all there. Ah. It feels better to earn it, though. If you want a fun skill, Thundercloud is great. You send a little cloud over your enemies that strikes thunder on them. That sounds cool. Did I have to equip my, like, create food spell? I think I didn't. Luca. Not doing anything back here? Oh. What the? Cool. It's my super witch flight. You do have to equip spells. They are effectively items. Oh, okay, so you use them like this. I still didn't repair my thing. Man, am I bad at that? Oh, I can do that. It's my turn. Oh yes. I know, what, I know what happens here. I've seen what slimes do to buxom women. Luckily. I happen to be a fire sorceress. And that giant key! Oh my god, look at that animation! Delightful. Absolutely delightful. Uh, oh, there's probably another. Wait, what? What do you want me to do? What's that? Oh, there we go, okay. That's weird. I, I assumed it would be a prompt. What? Oh. I got it. She doesn't have a lot of clothes to melt away. Yeah. You're gonna have to you're gonna have to really take their time. A really powerful spell. Look at him! I remember this! I remember seeing a little gif of this and being like, Oh my god, I have to play this game. I love these, like... Does the game do this often? These, like, really high-resolution first-person shots of a, a cool, like, magical adventure thing happening? Alright. They do a couple? Alright. 
Yeah, that was a very uh, a Yen Sid looking hat, wasn't it? Oh. Oh yeah. Am I about to get a bony friend? I feel like I probably should try to get more. Oops. Uh, more like human companions, but at the same time, they are skeletons. Simple. So I don't know what I'm supposed to. I don't know what I'm expected to do there. This music is awesome. It's tense strings. It's my turn. Simple. <laughs> Maybe we got puzzles. <laughs> Oh, wait, what? They're all staying down now? Hmm. I'm gonna guess that there's a... There must be a sequence somewhere else in this level. <laughs> that resets? Yeah, okay. Well, I'll keep an eye out for that. That's not okay. I don't know who thought that that would be okay, but it's not. It's not okay to do that. Yes. Hidoro Hidoro energy? <laughs> Mushrooms. Uh, no, we don't need that. It has to smell so bad. Oh, it's got it's got tentacles on its face. Absolutely not okay. Oh, I can do that. Filthy Luca. Ah. Man, this is this is unacceptable. Wait, oh, there was a fake, a fake, fake thief. Oh no, Humphrey. Is there a way to make it so that like you can make your AI buddies pick up health or or request that they do it? Oh, I can do that. I haven't gotten to the tentacle boss yet. Oh dear. I will I will steal myself. Hold on, I wanna Oh you can't go back. Oh, okay. What a merry little band we've got here. They do it naturally if you leave food there? Okay. I guess I keep picking it up. God, why are they skittering? They have to chitter like that. They're mushrooms. Why? Oh, pick up that food, please. Yes. Get that other one, Humphrey. Yeah. My pal was hungry. Uh, Black Goosku, thank you very much for the sub. Doom Beetle. Classic Doom Beetle. Seen it a million times. 
する前にサナギを始末しなければこのままでもキリがない。That's a big one. Humphrey Boop! Uh oh. Tongue blah. This is an angry evil little beetle. I see. Oh man, I wanted to hear that. That was a really good, like, oboe kicking in. I don't think so. I didn't do any side quests. I don't think I did 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 any side quests. Oh, LP is life pointer, extra lives. Got it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Like, a couple of people in chat have clearly played this game, Captain Pop Tart. You guys are being super helpful and super uh, uh, informative. I appreciate it. Are you playing it right now? Huh?君が寺院の回廊へ足を踏み入れると奥から穏やかな声が響いた何かお困りのようですね君はダメでもともとと思いながら流海の遺骨を僧侶に預けたさまよう魂を導いて死を巻き戻し目覚めさせたまえ祈りは女神に届き骨の集まりは血肉をまとって再び息を吹き返す。It's Oh my god, his eyes are so, like, piercing. He is high all the time, yeah. Wizards are high all the time. If they're dudes, they have massive dicks. If they're chicks, they got massive tits. And they just... 
They just crush the dank. If you got a, if you have a magic mind, you gotta be extra high to be able to make sense of the world. What does he sell? Spells you can buy. ルカインが君を待っていた。ルカインはその友人を改めて紹介した。彼女の名前はティキ。好奇心が強すぎて妖精の森を出た妖精の中でも相当な変わり者だそうだ。それから彼の所蔵する魔法の品々を見せてくれた。君は今後これらの魔法の品を格安で譲り受けることができる。もし彼の話で気になることがあれば、ここで質問してもいい。さて、君は何について尋ねる? So Hold on, I gotta I gotta cut the rate of like bits per vote. I don't know why it was why was it so high? Wait, what? Oh I got it backwards. It was supposed to be like it's supposed to be like Oh my gosh, I got I put in the wrong numbers for the wrong things. It was like one hack point to vote. Yeah, I totally got that backwards. That was silly. Why did I do that? Alright. All right. You'll need to learn about runes. No, I won't. What does the audience want? That's what matters here. I was happy the hack point rate was lowered. Man, I don't understand why the votes weren't like in the thousands. Why not? It was good while it lasted. I was missing out on all them bits though. All them bits. At least five. Gosh. Gonna have, gonna have, have a hard time making the mortgage payment on my eighth Twitch Twitch mansion this month. Duh. My fiduciary is gonna be screaming at me. All those bits that lost revenue. How do I vote? Uh, there should be a little banner you can either click or tap on at the top of the chat. But unfortunately, the vote timer is almost done. What are we whizzing? Oh, we're gonna ask about rune magic. Fair enough. ルーンについての講義を聞きとして始めた。ルーンとは精霊や妖精が各地に刻んだ魔法文字のことを言う。君もこれまでの冒険ですでに見たことがあるかもしれない。ルーンに触れると文字が輝いて浮き出る。ル
And one more time. Damn. This looks like a hentai game. I can see why it might seem that way. Welcome to my shop. What would you like? Where? It almost is. Yeah. I mean, like, yeah? Ah, when I think about some of the more porny games that I've played, yeah, usually it involves the lady engaging, engaging in a sexual act when you've been attacked or damaged. And thinking about how that snake, thinking about what that snake was doing to me. Not too far off. Not too far off. Oh, can you can have multiple? Oh, okay. You can have multiple accessories equipped. No, you cannot. Ah, okay. Huh. Okay. played a text game where the winner fucks the loser of each battle? I mean, yeah, there's... Okay. Fair amount of that in, in H games as well. Hmm. Wait, wrong place. Back. Yeah, Odin Sphere was very good. Uh, very difficult at a certain point. Nope, wrong again. Oh. Not the right place. See you, Lucian. Okay. Didn't complete the Honey Buzzards? Yeah, I did. There we go. You can't be a count with a name like Dean. There are rules. <laughs> count Dean. Chasey, you're horny? Uh oh. Uh oh. It's gonna start spreading like wildfire. That's gonna it's gonna be a problem. That's okay. I'm actually I'm actually winding down the stream at this point to be honest, so you guys can get as horny as you want, and then I'll just raid you on over to somebody else's stream and then and then you'll be their problem. I don't, I don't gotta I don't gotta hit you guys with the with the hose anymore. Just throw you into the neighborhood's yard. そう遠く危険な任務に思えるが断れば今にも衛兵たちは襲いかかってきそうだ君は止むを得ずこの仕事を承諾した君は臨行者の頼みで国境の地下要塞への潜入ルトレートスタイルを危険な任務を受け負った
All right. Well, thank you all very much for watching. Uh, I'll be streaming tomorrow again. I think tomorrow might be uh, just a normal old cyberpunk day. Unless there's a... I feel like you're... Oh, shoot. That is different. <laughs> you're right. My, uh, my save screen did get a little nicer. A little cuter. There we go. But I'll be back at it tomorrow with more video games. Uh, but until then, I hope you guys have a great evening, morning, afternoon, day of work, day at school, hanging around the house, wondering what life's all about. Whatever it is, I hope it's delightful. Uh, we really got to finish Cyberpunk. That's what I'm thinking. Tomorrow might be a finished Cyberpunk day. I've almost finished all the side quests, and I can just blast through the end. But anyway, have a great night, everyone. Uh, keep watching anime. Uh, respect them titties, and I'll see you later. Bye! <laughs>